Okay, we are in the early phases of building a snake tank. We're actually going to be building three of them. So I was going to do it with PVC sheets uh, because it's non-permeable material, so it doesn't soak up perhaps urine odor odors, which I'm not too sure if snakes have that or not, but uh, uh, I, I looked at the cost of it in for a board about this size, it was about $40. And instead I found this size board, uh, which is a, it's a press board, but it has a laminate on both sides. So water and or urine uh, won't be leaking into it. And this is about $15 a board. So I'm pleased with it. So, so far I cut it, they come in a, two foot by four foot sheets. And I cut it down to a foot and a half for the height of the tank. And I'm in the process right now of installing some vents to uh, allow some fresh air to come in. So what we're gonna do next is uh, bore out the holes here for uh, the vents and the uh, bulb pythons that we're getting uh, are small, they're juveniles. And uh, just as a safety, I'm going to install a screen in here. Uh, and I wanna take the chance that they could squeeze through here because they do tend to be crafty. And since we're new to this species of snakes and snakes in general, I figured we'll cover that up. When I'm done with that, then we're gonna paint it a flat block. So here we go. Okay, there's hole number one. And that's just, uh, it's a four inch diameter. So it's just a, a hair off. But what I think I'm going to do is to take this drainage vent and cut, cut the plastic off so it's more flush, so I don't have something uh, obnoxious hanging out. I suppose you could leave something, leave it like this, uh, where it's protruding into the tank. This is the backside, actually. Uh, and it would give the, the snakes something to hang out on if they uh, are snakes that like to hang out on stuff. Could also put plants around it, um, <clears throat> glue them to it to decorate it. But I think I'm gonna go flush with the wood. This is the same board, this is the interior side which Wyatt and I agreed would uh, look more natural because we'll plan to uh, glue up some uh, fake plants to it, maybe some rock and some wood to uh, allow the snake to have things to crawl on. Maybe we could also somehow create a hide up on the wall too. That might be uh, something to add to it. Okay, so I cut the... Uh, the vents down and got them mounted uh, flush with the wall. So I'm going to take them out, paint them, let it dry and uh, put some screen on them and then uh, glue them uh, in place. Okay, I've got those painted and inserted. We are good to go. Okay, so here we are. We got the Wyatt man with us today. How's it going, Wyatt? It's going good. How about you? Good. Uh, Merry Christmas Eve to you. Thank you. Merry Christmas Eve to you, too. Okay, so we did some more cutting with the wood, and uh, we've got some progress. Uh, Wyatt, do you want to tell us what we've done? Of course. So we got the frame of the tank done, right? So we got the screens. You saw that in the last video, right? Update. We got the boards together. So we put a line of caulk on the edge and then we pressed the two together and then we drilled into the wood so the wood doesn't expand. And then we took a screw and we screwed every five, six inches, right? So we did that on both sides. So they're nice and tight and we're waiting for it to dry. And then on the top here, we got three inch boards. So this is gonna be the side of the tank, three inch boards, right? We're gonna have three inch board here, three inch board here, here, here. So it'll be a box. And then on the middle of the box, we're gonna put a 
square plexiglass. So on the sides, you can see it. Now this won't open, but it'll just be like a nice little window to look at, you know? And then, go on this side over here. So this side, this is not glued in. This is taped on, so it dries. It's a spacer. We put that in there so uh, there wasn't any warping on the side as the clock dries. But this is gonna be the front. So how it's gonna be, uh, gonna have some wood on the outside, still looking at those measurements. And then we're gonna have plexiglass. We're gonna have hinges, possibly hydraulic hinges. We're gonna have hinges here. And the locks are really cool. So it's got an enclosed visual. So how this is working is it's pistons and these are the magnetic plates. These magnetic plates are gonna be um, glued to the plexiglass and then you press it and let's go. So here's the plexiglass, you press it, let's go, drops down, right? So yeah. Cool. I think that's it. All right, well, thanks for sharing. Of course. Wyatt. We started to work on the sides here and wanted to just show the caulk that we're putting in to seal it from water and maybe snake urine. And uh, then we'll put a piece of plexiglass in there. Plexiglass is over there. It's coming along. We have the frame out for the plexiglass on the sides of the tank. And I'm getting ready to uh, cut the plexiglass to put in there. 16 by 16 is the size of the plexiglass we're cutting in. The concern I have is whether or not the table saw will crack this while I'm sawing it. I don't know if the blade that I have is thin enough or has as many teeth as it needs to do a fine cut. We'll find out. Uh, another option would be to score it like you do glass and crack it that way. So we'll see how it goes. We just got the plexiglass and a table saw does a very good job with plexiglass. So as an FYI, and I already took one side of the film off. It's got a covering, a protective covering on it. I did not take the other side off yet. Because what the plan is, is we'll glue that right in there for the side view of the terrarium. I keep saying tank, but it's actually a terrarium. So it's coming together nicely. The tricky part will be hinging the front plexiglass. We'll figure that out as we move forward. So we cut the plexiglass and I just mounted it in. And this is, the white stuff you see there is a uh, clear caulk. So that goes on white, it is going to dry clear. That's the hope. So we'll let that dry for a while and then we'll do the other side here. I don't want to do the other side right now out of concern if I flip this whole thing over that that might, uh, the weight of the plexiglass might make it come out. But it's, uh, it's very clear, which is nice to see right through it. More to come soon.